We're keeping a strong focus on the world. We're also working for stronger networks here at home. Canada is eager to work with our North American partners to modernize NAFTA, the world's largest uh, single trading zone and the most profitable in the world. Since NAFTA was signed a quarter of a century ago, North American trade has tripled. Agricultural trade has quadrupled. Each year, $85 billion of agricultural trade flows between our three countries. That has driven new growth, new jobs, and new prosperity for families and communities across the North American continent. Right across North America, farmers are united in their support for NAFTA. They know that any attempt to disrupt the supply chain on this continent would hurt our economies and the livelihoods of our citizens. None of these countries can afford to roll back almost a quarter of a century of partnership and collaboration in North America. Over the past year and a half, I have talked with many of my counterparts, industry and state officials right across the US and Mexico. And I might add, when I talk to them, I have yet to find anybody come up and say that NAFTA has, a bad, has been a bad deal for them. We were in Boston last week and the message was the same, do no harm. Rather, we need to update, modernize and improve NAFTA. We want to make a great agreement even better. Canada is working in the negotiation for an updated and progressive NAFTA to support good middle class jobs right across North America. We are committed to this outcome. We know that a fair deal is within reach, and this is what we are working for. Canada is absolutely committed to this outcome, and we are working hard to achieve that. Round seven ended in Mexico last month, and the next round is, uh, when the next round is called, Canada will be there. And we're very fortunate to have the people that we have at the table, I can assure you. It, we're so blessed to have such trade negotiators. At the same time, we continue to defend our supply management system. I want to say to everyone in this room, as I just said, we have great trade negotiators. And it's not easy to be a trade negotiator. As well as the existing partnerships, we're working closely with our trading partners to resolve irritants. The bottom line is Canadian farmers are ready to feed and supply the world and the Government of Canada wants to support you and will support you in that effort. So I'm certainly excited about the future of Canadian agriculture and agri-food sector. There's a world of opportunity out there for our farmers and food processors. There's an expansion of the middle class right across Asian communities and demand for food is growing. Canadian farmers can meet that demand with our world-class producers and high-quality products. And every dollar we make over there means jobs and growth right back here in this country. You know, in my career, I had the privilege of sitting on both sides of the fence, as I said. I've sat on a tractor seat, and I understand what it's like there. And I have the honor of having a seat in the House of Commons. It's clear to me that agriculture is an industry that will continue to grow, trade, innovate, and prosper. 